Hey guys, welcome to the next video on OpenCV tutorial for beginners using Python. In this video, we will talk about image gradients in OpenCV. So first of all, what is an image gradient? So an image gradient is a directional change in the intensity or the color inside the image. Now the image gradient of an image is one of the fundamental building blocks in image processing. For example, we use image gradients inside the image to find the edges inside an image. Now there are several image gradient methods available in OpenCV and we are going to see three of them. First is the Laplacian derivatives, second is the Sobel X method and third one will be the Sobel Y methods. And all these methods which I mentioned are different gradient functions which uses different mathematical operations to produce the required image. So the Laplacian calculates the Laplacian derivatives whereas Sobel method is joint Gaussian and differentiation operations. But don't be overwhelmed with the details, you just need to keep in mind that these are just the functions which we use for finding out the gradients of an image to analyze the image. So let's use the first method which is called the Laplacian gradient. Now to start with I have this initial code and you might already know what this code is doing. So first of all I'm just reading this image messy 5 dot uh, jpg in the grayscale mode using the im read method and then i'm just uh, loading this image using the matplotlib window so let's first see how the result looks like so this is going to look like this this is just a normal image of messy and let's see how we can apply the laplacian method to find out the laplacian gradient of an image. So for that we are going to declare a variable called uh, lap and then there is a function available inside your CV2 uh, library which is called Laplacian and this Laplacian method takes few argument. First argument is the image the second argument here will be the data type which we are going to uh, use which is called cv2 dot cv underscore 64 f. So cv2 dot cv underscore 64 f is just a data type and we are using a 64 bit float due to the negative slope induced by transforming the image from white to black. So you just need to keep in mind that this is just a data type which is 64 bit float and it supports the negative numbers which we will be dealing with when the Laplacian method is run on our image. Now in the next line what we are going to do is we are going to take the absolute value of our Laplacian image transformation and we are going to convert this value back to the unsigned 8-bit integer which is suitable for our output. So I'm going to just write lap and then using the numpy uint method so np dot uint 8 and as an argument we are going to pass np dot absolute and then inside the absolute method we are going to just pass our image which is going to give us the absolute value of our Laplacian image transformation which is going to convert uh, this into the unsigned 8-bit integer. Now let's see the result of uh, this Laplacian gradient so I'm going to just add a new title to my title array which is called uh, Laplacian and also inside the images uh, list I'm going to add uh, this lap uh, variable which contains uh, this image right after the Laplacian gradient is applied here and 
here the range will be 2 and uh, we are going to see it in 1 by 2 format on the matplotlib window. So here you can see the original image which is this one and after the Laplacian gradient uh, method is applied on this image you can see all the edges which are detected by this uh, method when we applied this method on this messy5.jpg image and an image gradient as I said is the directional change in the intensity or the color in an image. So let's close uh, this window and there is one more uh, argument you can provide here which is the kernel size. So you can uh, just say k size is equal to 5. This is the kernel size and I'm going to just run this uh, program once again and you can see uh, the kernel size is increased but our uh, result is deteriorated, right? So let's uh, reduce it to 3 and then once again run this program and the result looks uh, fine. And if you uh, apply k size is equal to 1, let's see the result and you can see you get the better result I think. So for now I'm going to just use k size is equal to uh, 3 and now let's use the other two uh, image gradient methods which are Sobel X and Sobel Y. So these methods which uh, are called Sobel X and Sobel Y are also called Sobel gradient representation. So let's just use them and then we will discuss uh, how they are uh, useful. So first of all, I'm going to declare a variable called uh, Sobel X and then I'm going to use uh, the method inside this uh, CV2 library which is co called Sobel. So this is the method which takes again few arguments. First is the image. Second is uh, again this data type which is cv2 dot cv underscore 64 and the third argument here will be the dx. So when you write 1 here this value can be 1 or 0. So when you write 1 here that means we want to uh, use the Sobel x method. Okay. And then the fourth argument here is the dy value, okay? So this is dx, which is for the x direction. And this is for the dy, which is for the y direction. And dx stands for the order of derivative x. And the dy stands for order of derivative y. Now, once again, we are going to uh, declare uh, the Sobel y variable. So let's declare uh, the Sobel y and then uh, cv2 dot Sobel. And this also takes a uh, few arguments. Here, the difference will be only the third and fourth argument. So I'm going to just use uh, the second argument same. The third argument will be 0 for Sobel y and the fourth argument will be 1, right? So this is the order of derivative x. If it's uh, 1, this is called the order of derivative which is uh, in the x direction and in the second case, it is in the y direction. And the fifth argument here can be the k size as we have seen in the Laplacian method. So if you want, you can provide the kernel size also here as the fifth argument, but we are going to uh, skip it for now. Now again, we are going to convert these values into the unsigned int as we have uh, done in the case of uh, Laplacian. So what we are going to do is we are going to once again overwrite this uh, variable Sobel x and then we are going to use np dot u int 8 and in the parenthesis we are going to just write np dot absolute and then we are going to just pass uh, the value inside the Sobel x variable. Same we, we are going to do with the Sobel y variable 
and now let's see the result how the result looks like so I'm going to just uh, add these elements inside the title and the image list so let's add Sobel X and Sobel Y here and here also so Sobel Y and now let's increase the range to 4 and let's see it in the form of 2 by 2 uh, matrix on the matplotlib window so I'm going to just run this code and you can see the result here so original image Laplacian uh, gradient and then Sobel X and Sobel Y so you can see uh, when you apply the Sobel X uh, gradient method the direction or the change in direction in the intensity is in the X direction and when you apply the Sobel Y method the change in direction in the intensity is in the Y direction so this is like horizontal and this is in the vertical direction I have uh, one more image which uh, will illustrate this uh, Sobel X and Sobel Y gradient method in a better way I think and this is called uh, Sudoku so I'm going to just write sudoku.png file and hopefully I didn't do any mistake in the naming yes it works so you can see uh, the Laplacian result here and then Sobel X and Sobel Y uh, result here so in the Sobel X you can see more vertical lines so because Sobel Y is good for uh, the directional change in the vertical direction so you can see more uh, change in intensity in the vertical direction and uh, using the Sobel Y you can see the directional change in the intensity in the horizontal direction or the Y axis you can also combine the result of Sobel X and Sobel Y images and how we can do this let's see so to combine these two uh, result I'm going to just create one more uh, method which is called Sobel combined is equal to CV2 dot we are going to uh, use the bitwise or operator in order to uh, merge these two images so we are going to just write bitwise or and then we are going to provide the two sources one is Sobel X and the other is the Sobel Y image so this is going to give us the bitwise or uh, result of these two images and then we are going to just add this into the title list so let's uh, say Sobel combined and also in the image list so like this and let's just increase the range to 5 and let's see it in the form of uh, 2 by 3 on matplotlib so I'm going to just uh, run this uh, once again and you can see the result now so this here is the combination of Sobel X and Sobel Y method and you can see now you can see the directional change in the vertical as well as in the horizontal direction because this is the combination of Sobel Y and Sobel X images so this is how you can use the image gradients inside OpenCV in the next video we are going to see how we can use Kenny edge detection method to find out the edges in an image so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video